Good morning and welcome at ISC in ISC 2023 in Hamburg and we are at the Swiss booth and I have the pleasure to have with me two very uh, relevant uh, figures in the field. In, am I right, Jack Tongara from University of Tennessee. Good morning, Good morning. Jack. Good morning. Welcome to, uh, to the booth. And on my left, there is uh, Torsten Ufler from ETH Zurich. Welcome, uh, Torsten. So we are here because uh, Torsten Ufler is the first recipient of the Jack Tongara Award. So Jack, why this new award? Well, I was quite honored when I was approached by the organizers of the meeting to um, um, ask me if it would be okay if I, uh, if my name was used to, uh, to uh, put on this new award. The award is uh, for a, a junior uh, young researcher just starting out in some sense and um, I was uh, really honored to, uh, to have my name associated with it. So I, I think it's a great idea. This, uh, this award uh, complements uh, the Hans Moyer Award as well as the price award that's given out at this, uh, this conference. So Torsten, what does it mean for you to, you are pluri awarded, so, but what does it mean for you to be the first recipient of uh, such an award? I mean, for me, it is, is actually the greatest honor to receive this very prestigious award that was bestowed upon Jack's name, so to say. And it's, it's really nice because Jack has actually played uh, and is playing a great role in our community as, as the lighthouse that I've been following for a long time. And I'll be giving uh, the uh, award talk today where I'm going to describe the dimensions of Jack's work that I've been following. And, and I'm, I'm very honored. That's very good. I know that both of you have been always have received a number of very important awards. Last year at Supercomputing, I was talking to Jack because you were at the Turing Award Turing. 2021. I was talking to Torsen because he was the Sydney Fairbach 2022 uh, Award. But I am curious, what is, in your opinion, the future of uh, high performance computing and computing at scale? I will start with Jack and then uh, go to Torsten. Well, I think the future is really quite bright. You know, we look around here and we see all of the uh, new architectures, uh, the new ideas being put down. And, you know, we've reached uh, exascale and now we're thinking post exascale in terms of our systems and uh, looking at all the problems that we have. Uh, all of the uh, scientific problems that we're going to be able to tackle with these uh, high performance machines. It's really exciting. It's so, um, so invigorating in some sense to see uh, us uh, at this stage. Uh, you know, over the past uh, 50 years of my career, I've seen many changes and uh, all of those changes have been positive. I'm looking forward to many more changes as we go, as we go forward. So it's a, it's a great and exciting time to be involved in high performance computing. I see many opportunities for research going forward in terms of uh, scientific problems and applications, algorithms and software. So there is still a lot to do out there, so we shouldn't worry too much. Torsten, what is your, uh, your opinion? Where is uh, high performance computing and computing at scale going? I, I completely agree. There is a lot of opportunity coming up in our field. Specifically, actually, there's a lot of opportunity coming from neighboring fields that are growing as fast or potentially even faster, but they are basing on high-performance computing technologies. So, for example, mega data centers. So, I'm foreseeing the convergence of networking in mega data centers and in high-performance computers just because of the market powers that are at work in this field. After all, these mega data centers, they serve the world with data and they can benefit from high-performance computer architecture that we've been exploring in HPC. The second piece is AI. In my view, AI is applied HPC in a specific mm -hmm. subfield, but it may be growing much faster, maybe outgrowing the HPC field, because it is probably the most disruptive change uh, to humanity that, that I'm seeing in my lifetime. And now we are driving it. We are driving it at the core with our computer architecture. A HPC has enabled AI through GPUs, yeah. through these devices, and now it is pulling HPC, I mean AI is pulling HPC forward with developments that are specializing to these problems at hand. And third, also the fields of data science, they're actually driving the software ecosystem forward with Python. I mean, we've been laughing about it when I was younger. <laughs> Python will never be any fast, yeah. but actually today it's, it's still not the fastest, but it has this gigantic ecosystem that we as high performance computing people need to enable yeah. to be performant on the computers we have today. So we need to help that community to succeed. Exactly like Jack says, it's all about the software making it fast at the end. Yeah. 
I want to ask you now a, a bit of a philosophical question. You have been in the field of supercomputing, computing since a long time. But should we be really scared about this artificial intelligence? Oh, What's no, your take no, on this? We, <laughs> we shouldn't be scared. I think, as, uh, as Thorsten said, we should embrace it and uh, use it to, to help us in, in solving, helping us uh, come to a solution faster uh, uh, to solve some of the more challenging problems. It's a, it's a wonderful technology that's there. Of course, um, it can be misused, but as with any kind yeah. of uh, technology, there's okay. opportunity for abuse of, of the underlying uh, structure. But I, I, see, I see this as really, uh, again, a, a, a game changer. Yeah. It's very disruptive, as, as was said. It has the potential really to, to, make, uh, to make things uh, move much faster yeah. in the future. And I think, I think pull, pulling it all together It'll be, um, it'll be work, yeah. but that's, uh, that's an exciting part of the research. Very good, thank you. Torsten, the last question. So what is uh, your advice to a young scientist to be as successful as you have been so far in your career? <laughs> well, I think there are multiple pieces to this advice. One, one is work hard. Um, work, just, just work hard. I Focus on the particular thing early on in your career and then widen a little bit more. Jack was actually the first, being on my PhD committee, to tell me to widen. <laughs> that was uh, quite interesting. And, and then make sure to have the right mentors. Make sure to, to learn from the giants in the field how to, how to deal with scientific problems, but also social problems. This is, we, are, we are all humans. This is uh, quite important for uh, being successful. Thank you very much. I think that with this, I really thank you, Jack and Torsten, for your time. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the conference and uh, see you maybe next time at Supercomputing. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you so much.